Okay, so here you are, you're a superstar in high school. And originally, you committed to go to the University of Louisville. Yep. With uh, coach Rick Pitino. But then something happened that made you change your mind. No, not really. I really, I have no plans to really go to college. Okay, well, because I had read that someone got killed in your apartment building. Yep, Robin Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Um, rest in peace. It's a lot of, it's a lot of. You got a lot of RIPs in my in my, <laughs> my interview right now. That, yeah. but yeah, um, my my senior year, Robin Isaiah got killed. Um, in my building on my floor. Um, Damn. Super unfortunate situation. It definitely. Um, definitely uh i'm not gonna say sped my decision up but it made my decision make sense to other people i was already in my mind feeling like i'm going to the nba i already told my mom that i remember rick patino came to my house and we had a meeting my family was around and um and this for every college coach in the world right if you're sitting in front of the best player in the country right they got him whatever rate and they asked, the family asked, is, is he going to start? And is, the smart answer is not saying put a question mark behind that. Like, don't. That's, like, so stupid. I, I see so many people do that. Yeah. I'm like, why not say, yes, your son is going to start? I'm going to give him the basketball. He's going to make us win a championship. But I remember my brother, Dan, he was like, yo, he's going to start. And Rigotino was like, oh, we're going to. We was like, bro, <laughs> I, I was looking at my family. Like, I told y'all, I was like, I got time for this. So, but um, I remember Rick Bettino walking out the house, right? And I was going to walk them downstairs, but I closed the door quick. And I was to my mother, I was like, Ma, I don't care if I'm the last pick. I'm going to the NBA. Well, I remember you had an interview with Sports Illustrated. You said, uh, I know I can handle living here, but I don't know about my family. I've seen more friends killed than I can count. I don't want to put my family through that much longer. And I guess your mom didn't want to leave the projects either. And it seemed like your decision was sort of based on getting your family out of that situation. Not really? Um, yes and no. Every kid coming, growing up in my, um, where I grew up at, in my environment, or in any type of, you know, projects, anything like every kid in America wants to come up with a plan and, and help his family. Mm -hmm. um, nah. Okay. I, I loved basketball. It was it was just it was just there. It was, it was the thing to do. Stephon, Stephon opened the doors, and our projects ain't nothing with basketball courts around. When he was a kid, but nah, um, and no, those are like spaced out bullet points. I don't feel like that's the vibe in my community. Okay. That's that's the real truth. 